Jared, Coach mentioned that a healthier you basically is what led to more of those chunk plays over the last couple of weeks. What do you think contributed to some plays like Damian Alford's 58 yard touchdown and some of the bigger plays that you've been able to do over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, that's a big part of it in terms of our offense and what we what we really want to be at our, at our best. And, um, I mean, as far as his touchdown goes, that was something we were setting up the entire throughout the entirety of the game. And um, it really came through at a, at a crucial moment. So, um, I mean, just continuing to learn and grow. And there was a lot of some new stuff that they had and did out there today. And, um, I mean, but I'm, I'm proud of our guys and proud of the way we finished and able to rally and come back and uh, go out with a win. Uh, for either you guys, first talk about some halftime adjustments you guys made offensively to try to attack them differently. Can you want to share any insight in I think he just wanted to come out with more energy, be more physical, especially running the ball. And, uh, Jared, when you look at the second half and you guys were able to score 26 points there at the end to win the game, is there like a moment that you feel like things really clicked for you and the game shifted in, in your favor? I mean, I felt like that in the first half in terms of after those first, I mean, our first couple of drafts were horrendous. But um, after we got moving the ball and, you know, got, got our rhythm going and able to just hit routine plays, um, that's when I started feeling good. And then, I mean, obviously the penalties is what uh, killed those drives. But, um, I mean, I don't know what our, the stat on our red zone efficiency was, but, um, you know, we were moving the ball well after that first little period when we got out of our own way. And um, we are able to get going. But, you know, I think that touchdown was a big moment because we knew we were able to go out and the Cowboys defense was, you know, excited and uh, that they were able to gonna, they were gonna go out and get a stop and then we were going to go score again. But that, I think that was the moment we knew. Those opening two drives, was that just needing to settle in or what kind of made those go the way they did? Yeah, I think that's part of it. And um, I'm going to have to go back and watch the tape. But... Um, just they they were they were bringing blitzes and stuff and, and uh, we were just trying to hit so and we had we had the, the concepts open we were just you know trying to get rid of it a little bit and I was missing the mark but um, we'll go back and watch it and learn from it and uh, just get those things cleaned up. Well, Calvin, and, well. Aranda, you've obviously been the guy all season long, but how was nice was it to see the efforts from Devon and, and Damian having big nights tonight? Uh, usually people go around ask a question who's going to be the receiver number two, and uh, it was it was good to see some other people come up and step up. Uh, I always like to see when my other teammates are succeeding. Uh, as for Garrett, uh, what does a win like tonight just kind of do for the confidence and morale of the team after five straight losses? No, it's exciting. I mean, the locker room was electric, and um, you know, I mean, we're a talented team. And we, we knew that this year we've kind of underachieved in terms of our record and what we were fully capable of. But um, a lot of that is just due to things that are out of our control at this point and, you know, guys going down and uh, what resources we had left. And so that's why it was such a struggle, and especially when I wasn't able to go out and, you know, ex and extend plays and make things happen with my own feet. That's when that little stretch was really frustrating, especially. And it was hard to get things going offensively. But... Um, I mean, I was just, I'm proud of these guys, and I love the way we fought. And um, just got to keep our heads up, even when things, because adversity's going to come. And um, you know, there was a moment where I feel like these guys did kind of lose a little bit of faith, the faith. But um, we were able to rally back, and they got turned over, and then we, we went down and scored, and, you know, we got, we got back on track. Uh, without getting yourselves in trouble, can you address the skirmish on the field at the end of the game from your perspectives? I was just talking with some people after the game, and I turned around, and I just saw a bunch of people. I was just trying to stay out of those those deals. I didn't see what happened. Anything else for these guys? Last question back. Yeah, Garrett, last year against BC, you had one of your toughest passing performances and weren't just about 35%. What changed coming into today that worked for you? I mean, just... Doing what the routine stuff is important, and um, we had a bunch of guys doing good stuff. And uh, you know, start with OG; he's kind of the the rock of that receiving core, and uh, you know, really heady player knows how to get open. And so, just whenever we need a first down at a tough time, or when things aren't going well, that's, that's the guy we're looking for. And 
we did that on a couple drives. And um, so, but then also those other guys stepped up big time. You know, Devon, um, I think the play that stood out to me is, you know, through a little arrow when they were bringing a blitz, man blitz, and he uh, got around the edge and had went for like 15 or 20 yards. So uh, just little stuff like that is what brings a spark to this offense and uh, getting guys in space and we're more than capable. So the more we can do that, the better off we'll be. And, um, you know, I was, I was excited to see those guys go out and make some plays and um, just more importantly, they'll get the win. Thanks. You got a little banged up near the end of the game there. Just first off, I mean, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. It was just a little stinger. Um, Coach said having a couple more of those big plays like you've had over the last couple of weeks uh, starts with a healthy Garrett Schrader. What have you done specifically, or what have you seen with the likes of some of those chunk plays, picking up your 25 yard reception in the third quarter? Um, I think it just goes back to practice. Um, we always try to have de- a deliberate focus and uh, get better in practice. And what have you guys done differently like the last two weeks as opposed to the uh, both of that five-game losing streak? I think um, as a team, we just had enough. Yeah, right. That's a good idea. Like that. That was bad. Devon, let me just say, happy late birthday. Thank you, thank uh, you. Coach Babers up here earlier said that, you know, you've been a lot of different places, Syracuse, now your third school, but he feels like you are more Syracuse out of any of the the first two you went to. He told us to ask you, so I'm going to. Do you feel like that is a true statement? Um, yes. Uh, as soon as I came here, my teammates, they were just, they took me in and it's been a family ever since, like since day one. So, yeah, I, I think that's what you said. Without getting yourself in trouble, can you address what happened after the game, the flag and whatnot? Um, they just didn't like us having a flag, I guess. So. That wasn't our intentions. We we didn't mean for that to happen. You can describe the atmosphere in the locker room coming back in after a win like this, and it kind of gives you the best time going into the bullpen. As a team, we're just happy. Um, Five-game losing streak, that's no fun at all. So I think we needed this. Um, it's going to motivate us to do well in the bowl game. And like I said, we need Take two more. We'll start back here. And then we'll Devon, you passed your single-season uh, career record for receiving yards tonight. Coach Babers also said that he wished he had 21 guys like you. What does it mean to have such high praise from your head coach? It's really a blessing. Um, it's my third school. I've been through a lot. And um, to have that coming from the head coach means a lot to me. Last question. Is that you? Are you the first person to pick the flag? Somebody gave it to me, but... We were just happy. I was just waving it. We didn't mean for anything bad to happen. It was kind of like, what was going on in the field during the game? Play a role in what happened after what you did? Uh, Possibly. I think the game was very aggressive. Um, a lot of emotion was tied into this game. Um, yeah. We're basically rivals, so, like I said, rivals. Thank you. Thanks,